bondage, land of the free by Raon Manglapos. No wonder then that the Tao, being a slave, has acquired the habits of a slave. No wonder that after three centuries in chains, without freedom, without hope, he should lose the wreck and fearless posture of the free man and become the bent, mishappen, indolent, vicious, pitiful thing that he is. Who dares accuse him? Who the rise up in judgment against his man? Reduced to this subhuman level by three centuries of oppression? The Tao does not come here tonight to be judged, but to judge. Here then, his accusation and his sentence. I indict the Spanish and Comendero for inventing taxes impossible to bear. I indict the usher saddling me with debt impossible to pay. I indict the responsible radical leaders who undermine with insidious eloquence the confidence of my kind in our government. You accuse me of not supporting my family. Free me from bondage and I shall prove you false. You accuse me of ignorance, but I am ignorant because my master finds it's profitable to keep me ignorant. Free me from bondage and I shall prove you false. You accuse me of indolence, but I am indolent, not because I have no will, but I have no hope. Why should I labor if all the fruits of my labor go to pay an unpayable debt? Free me from bondage and I shall prove you false. Give me land, land to own, land and beholden to any tyrant, land that will be free. Give me land for I am starving. Give me land that my children may not die. Sell it to me. Sell it to me at a fair price. I am poor, but I will pay it. I will work. Work until I fall from weariness for my privileges, for my inalienable right to be free. But if you will not grant me this, if you will not grant me this last request, this ultimate demand, then build the wall around your home. Place a sentry on every parapet. For I who have been silent in these 300 years will come in the night when you're feasting with my cry and my bolo at your door, and may God have mercy on your soul.